All right, y'all, welcome back to the channel and to some more buckshot testing. And right off the bat, I apologize if you might be able to hear a helicopter in the background throughout this video. I have no idea what they're doing, but there's one hovering down the road and I have no idea why. So I apologize for that, but it's what we have to work with at the moment. But either way, I've got a new buckshot load out here to test and I am really excited to see what it might actually be able to do. And those shells are some of these, the Winchester Double X three and a half inch buckshot shells these are a 12 gauge three and a half inch 15 pellet double lot buck load that says they want to go 1450 feet per second so definitely a bit on the higher velocity side as it says right there on the box and on the back it does say it's copper plated with buffer in there for better long range patterns so we'll see what kind of pattern we can actually get out of it here but either way we have not tested any of the winchester double x or any three and a half inch buckshot loads yet so this should be pretty interesting and as for the setup of course since it's a three and a half inch shell i brought out this guy this is my mossberg 835 ultimag and i threw in this choke which is the stock full choke which is typically what i run with buckshot is a full choke like this in most cases so that's where we're going to start out with these loads today anyway and see what it might be able to give us through this setup now with that being a three and a half inch load of double op buck through an 835 i expect the recoil to be pretty noticeable on this i mean the 835 already seems to kick a little bit harder than a lot of other 12 gauges for one reason or another but three and a half inch buckshot that's definitely not going to help it so this is going to be pretty interesting as for how it feels out on the shoulder so as for the test we're going to do it the same as we usually do I have a 36 by 36 piece of paper down there at 40 yards. I also have the chronograph, so we'll be able to see what kind of speed we're running and how close it actually is to the box claim. So we'll take our shot, we'll look at what kind of chrono speed we had, and then we'll go down and take a look at our patterns. And of course, as usual, I also have both the circle and the animal templates that we can lay over there and kind of see for reference points how it actually did. So let's head over here and shoot these big old three and a half inch double up buck loads and see what these shells can get give us. Okay, so as you can see here, we had 1312 through the chrono. The box was claiming 1450, so we did not see that. But 1312 is still not bad for a 15 pellet load of double out buck. And yeah, that shell definitely had a stout recoil behind it as well, just like I figured it would. But either way, we did not see what the box was claiming, but how did they actually perform down at 40 yards? Let's go take a look and see. Okay, so now we're down here at 40 yards, and this is what our paper actually looks like here. Now, obviously, the white dot here in the center was my point of aim, and we did have several that kind of grouped in right close to it. Now, backing up here and looking, we do see all 15 pellets out of that load that hit this piece of paper here. So that's always a good thing to see. And looking at how the pattern actually performed here, it's definitely got a few more little gaps and voids than what I would like to see in it, but it's definitely not terrible, and it's a lot better than some of the other loads we've tested that's for sure like there is a void down to the bottom left of my point of aim there and there is a little bit of one right above it i would like a couple more of these pellets to be a little bit more central there but overall not terrible here and speaking of the templates let's start out with the basic 10 inch circle and just see how many pellets we had within that all right so here's our 10 inch circle and as you can see we had two and barely a third one up there in the top right sneak in now having three in a 10 inch circle at 40 yards is not bad by any means that's about average for what we've seen i would have liked to had one or two more in there personally but definitely not terrible but let's throw up a bigger 30 inch circle real quick and just take a look at that i think that most if not all of these are going to be within there but we'll glance at it real quick anyway just to see what it shows us all right so here's our 30 inch circle and this is kind of what it looks like here doesn't tell us a whole lot but we had 14 out of the 15 within it the 15th pellet is right up here just under where this clip is clamped up here so not far off but 14 out of 15 isn't bad in a 30 inch circle there but how would it have done in a hunting style scenario let's throw the deer template up and see what it looks like on that Okay, so now we have our deer template up here, and this is what we're looking at. Obviously, if we line that white dot up with 
right where we would kind of want it to be for a point of aim. That gave us 10 out of the 15 pellets that impacted this deer. We did have several right around the vital area, back of the lungs for sure. Maybe one or two down there towards the front might have got into some kind of an artery or something because there is multiple of them up there. But definitely dead deer here, I would say. Not looking too bad on this one. So with that being said, I also have the hog template out here. I think it's going to be a pretty similar story, but let's throw it up there anyway, just to see what it would have looked like if you would have taken that shot at a hog as well. All right, so now we have our hog template up here and it's pretty much the same story. It gave us 10 pellets that actually hit this hog. Now, one or two of these down here just might have barely clipped him, but we did have multiple right through the back of the lungs area there for sure. And looking at it as a whole here, definitely I would call that a dead hog for sure. So overall, definitely not looking too bad on this one. All right, y'all. Well, what did you think about that performance there? Definitely not terrible at all. It absolutely would have gotten the job done. 15 pellets of double out buck is quite a good number of them flying down range here. Definitely, I don't think they're as good as something like the flight control loads, but they're definitely not a bad option either. But with that being said, with how stout that recoil was, is it worth the trade-off? They're quite a bit more expensive than a two and three quarter or three inch load of double out buck. And did we really see any improvement to justify paying a little bit more and having to deal with that much extra recoil because it was definitely probably the most recoil I've ever felt out of a buckshot load. So with that, what do you guys think about it? Would you take this out hunting or do you think it's just not quite worth it or quite justifiable enough to go with these shells over like a three inch load of double out buck? Leave a comment and let me know your thoughts about it all. But with that being said, we do have an Instagram as well. So if you would like to go over there and check it out, the link will be in the description but on that note i'm gonna jump back to it and i'll see y'all in the next one